welcome back everyone the Louis farm guy here back on the green gold map farm green gold farms map yeah that map uh the same map we've been on for a couple of episodes episode three here and uh, as promised we're here in our canola field there we go um yeah it was just here ready we bought it it was ready to go so we might as well harvest it and uh i have a bit of a um shall we say mashup of um machinery here uh we have the base game i sold off the uh the harvester and header that came with the uh with the farm and uh, i i really do like this case even it's the base game case axle flow um it's it's kind of stubby um i just like them um i like the case harvesters um but anyways i uh, what i have here is not your grandma's header <laughs> uh this is actually the header from the colossus pack um and if you notice this out here yes i have uh this is the unreal width yes something that was uh revolutionary for us console players thanks to chris s and riley s but anyways uh yes we have this um uh i don't i didn't get the um, the 50 foot version this is the 20 uh five foot version which is good enough for this field really and uh, since this is not a uh, modified harvester uh we're only going to go uh, 19 miles per hour and uh, and let's drop us no I can't drop swath on this that's right it's canola <laughs> but I thought it'd be interesting to uh, just to show everyone for one thing that yes it does work with a with a worker and you don't necessarily have to use the uh, the Colossus harvester with the attachments so if you do like your harvester that you're using whatever that is be it base game or another modded harvester uh, you can use the headers from uh, basically anything and in this case it's the um, it's the unreal header from the Colossus pack which allows you to go in this case 19 miles per hour or as fast as you want to go up to I think 43 is the maximum speed for this header now this is different than the um, tool height for harvester header um, mod which I still have and use but um, it doesn't have the unreal width to it Um. so I mean it's it's uh, it's the same but different it's kind of the same you can still go fast but there are differences in this one as a matter of fact and we're full already so uh, <laughs> that's um, right um, yes you have the uh, with the Colossus harvester headers you can choose whatever colors and I just kind of chose a uh, a red that I thought would look nice um, and let's get our there we go um, let's go unload our harvester which I I, um, I can see that I'll be doing quite often uh, this is not the five million liter one I do believe this is the or maybe it is hmm. we'll find out right away which one this is I this I could have picked a really big one but that doesn't matter um, I was going to take the five fifty thousand liter one Oh well um, either way it'll all stay in here and um, we're gonna see if the oh yes I'm gonna do a round around a headland around this and then I'll have the worker uh, well the work it wouldn't take long as you can see it was basically one one swipe down the field and uh, the hopper was full Um, but we're gonna buy some more cows basically just to uh, fill up that cow barn and uh, mm, is this gonna be the five I can't even remember now which one this is anyways um, 
yeah so let's um we're down here there we go let's go fly a kite uh, let's can I visit that no it, oh it's not showing the cow uh, so this yeah I think this was a 50,000 liter one anyways um, let's go over visit our cows and um, we're gonna max out this cow pasture with um, well Angus aren't good well it doesn't matter let's just buy uh, some of those and uh, some of those and yeah I know it's not gonna produce the, the Angus and Limousin don't produce um, milk um, but that's fine we're not really um, I, I, I want to um, have them start eating some more so we can um, see what else we can feed them uh, can we feed them canola that would be interesting uh, there we go we're emptying up it's kind of a good thing I didn't uh, whoop. that is um, a thing with hills and basically normal shall we say normal headers or well this is so this it's in, it's really interesting how they how they did this header it's it's basically works on the normal principles whereas it does need to be lowered so if you if it's raised it's not going to see that so it has to be lowered to harvest so if you get really hilly bumpy um, ground which is, this is rolling kind of like rolling uh, field it's not super hilly but there's it's it's rolling a bit so it does need to be at least somewhat close to the ground in order for it to pick up the grain uh, harvest a field and we're almost full again this is producing like let's get our What's our yield like? It's actually not even all that great. So it's going to be kind of interesting to see what's uh, and over here it's terrible. <laughs> of course, uh, it's the nitrogen. Yes, it, like pH and nitrogen are terrible, and nothing was probably like. Yeah, the yield, uh, does it expected yield 63%. So, yeah, it's, it's nearly, yeah, it's, it's, it's not, it's not great. Oh, and we're full again. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna continue, uh, harvesting this field and it's gonna be, uh, Me, lots of driving this around and emptying that um, the hopper so uh, it's but that's okay I, I don't mind I do enjoy harvesting it fortunately this is not a huge field I don't think there isn't really a lot of really really large fields on this map so um, you you could um, very easily um, let's see um, yeah, I guess these, excuse me, these at the top are probably the biggest fields as it appears because we are down here, 27. Yeah, I mean, it's 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 in the, yeah. Uh, it's, like I say, it's, it's not like four fields where it's like a quarter of the the entire map here. We can, we got, to, we see this. Um, but anyways, yeah, it's nice. It's, it's, it's suitable for medium maybe i mean you could, there's smaller fields you can you can the the equipment you get with this map is um or sorry with the start farm is fairly small stuff uh let's no no turn let's let's turn that off and empty this out right so um yeah i just like playing around with bigger stuff but uh this come on empty there we go Whoop. there we go um, right, so, yeah, I'll continue on here, and uh, we'll see where we end up after I'm done. 
All right, so yeah, this was the uh, five million liter. I've got to get rid of the five million liter one. I don't need that anymore. Uh, definitely not doing sugar cane again. But anyways, uh, what do we got here? Sixty nine thousand five hundred and seventy eight liters of uh, canola off that field. That's actually pretty good, especially since uh, considering uh, the yield potential was not uh, not great. But anyways, we're gonna dump this off. I'm gonna, I'm gonna um, hide this trailer. Actually, I think it's just gonna put it away because if I, it's difficult to tell which trailer is which um, in the store when I'm trying to sell it. And I might sell the one that I want to keep. So can I fit through here? Ooh, yes. <laughs> oh, don't end up in the water. Um, okay. So what's happening now? So a couple of things I want to do. Because I actually do want to see uh, how close I can get to maximum yield, especially with that f awesome planter that um, mulches and rolls. So two two birds, well three birds with one one swipe of that. But I have purchased um, base game dutes, the big one, and uh, this is the Kubota Kubota Geo spread from uh, oh I forget which. Uh, it's the it's not the Giants Kubota pack, it's the other Kubota pack, which by the modder I cannot uh, remember um, who did that. But anyways, um, I do believe that's okay. Let me see. I, I have it in mods and DLC. So Kubota equipment pack, yeah, that is not the Kubota DLC, which is from Giants. This is, I will find out who that is by, I'll put, I'll put it in the, I'm sure it's all included in the description. But anyways, we are going to lime our fields because, well, it needs it. And uh, this thing does a pretty good job of it, actually. And 10,000 liters uh, won't go extremely long way. But um, it's a nice little—it's a nice little package, and um, yeah, we're gonna need to refill this. But um, this is our bean field, by the way, and uh, yeah, we're gonna need to refill this pretty quickly. It is 42 meter spread, so that's quite the spread. Um, yeah, but uh, there we go. Um, we're going to do this field um, and the other fields we've planted. Of course, the, the field that we got, um, we'll probably lime it first before I seed that canola field. Just because I don't like seeing the white lime stuff on the ground while it's growing, it kind of distorts the look of the crop and if you uh if you do it first because it doesn't matter if you do it before or after planting it's 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 a ph level of the soil right so it's um as long as you do it before it's uh ready to harvest you're going to get the benefit obviously you would think spreading lime on a field or fertilizing a field after the uh, crop has uh, matured is not going to help your yield so there we go that wasn't very long and um, of course this is uh, oh this is our soybeans I will have to do this one two um, let's see here let's just uh, Let's just empty out our tank there. Back to the um, back to the farm, and I think I'm gonna have to uh, do a little trickery here. It seems like I'm running through. Well, lime is pretty much typically you burn through it pretty quick, anyways. So I'm gonna try something. I'm gonna try something a little bit. So I think I still have, uh, yes, there it is. 
the uh, mobile buying station by Yoast. Now what's nice about this is it's portable. And it's, uh, well, it's a silo, but you can buy up to, um, well, uh, uh, what's that? How many zeros? 100,000 liters of lime. And uh, it will be in here. Uh, let's see, can I buy other products? No. Uh, a total of 100,000 liters of all those, even liquid fertilizer, seeds, herbicide, solid fertilizer. And you can, it's actually a silo. You can put it back in there if you want. But what I'm going to do is, uh, is I'm going to toss it inside. Oh, it doesn't really go inside, does it? Sort of, kind of. No. Uh, we'll see if it stays on top of there or not. It it does not strap down. But we'll take it to the field. And Farm Dog Max is thinking that's not going to work. But uh, we'll see. We'll see. Um. <laughs> okay. I seem to have... Uh, seem to have messed up the... Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, a little bit of a conflict there, it would seem. Let's see how far I can get without that thing falling off. It doesn't strap down, by the way, so that's the other uh, tricky part of it, I guess you could say. Um, because it's a mobile type. Yeah, oh. I might have to uh, throw it in the pickup and take it over there, since the pickup, it does have um sides on it it won't uh ooh, is it gonna fall off we have to get over to our field there somehow and then we'll show you how uh, we'll bring it along to the field it's like a portable silo basically i've i've filled it with lime we're gonna need x oh i i lost it <laughs> uh where else can I put this? Not not really much anywhere else I can. Uh, nope. <laughs> um, there are front. Um, yeah, there are other ways to. Uh, I just don't have the. Um, there's kind of like uh, three point attachments for the front. Um, like a container that I could throw it in, probably. Uh, okay, there it's it's fallen. Okay, it's it's over there. So let's uh, let's just go ahead. I'm going to. Uh, this is a little bit bigger of a field. So um, I'm going to do this, and then we're going to plant sorghum in here. I'm going to run out of this pretty quickly. But um, yeah, I'm gonna look after this field with lime and then we're gonna get the uh, the planter on it and uh, we're gonna go to town. Um, I guess I'll have to do it manually because the roller function is not going to work on, um, on an uncultivated field, which I will probably demonstrate but first things first is uh, is this. So I'll carry on doing this. I have to grab my pickup, but see here is what I was talking about here. Now I can refill or well, it is full all the way, just showing half. But uh, there it is, it's, uh, it's in my vehicle. Uh, it doesn't, as I say, it doesn't strap down. But at least it's kind of contained in the back of there. And uh, it, you don't actually have to buy um, the lime from this. Um, you can just, um, you can refill it at a you know f from wherever you get lime it's actually it's just yeah so it's a portable silo that you can buy stuff from if you wish but anyways thought i'd show that 
it's been out for quite some time, but um, some some of you new players, um, yeah, there's there's uh, like four or five thousand mods on crossplay mods that is on the mod hub. It's ridiculous uh, how many mods we have now. So it's easy to not know about something if you're fairly new to the game. But anyways, uh, carry I will carry on. Okay, so we're all done uh, liming. Now, sorbent, sorghum. Oh, looks like our seed rate's going to be quite high on this particular field, at least um, in uh, this particular area of the field. Silty clay. Yeah. Uh, oh, there we go. Yeah, yeah. quite a variety of uh, soil types on this map as most but it seems to vary uh even within a field quite a bit so uh here we go we're gonna have to as i said we're gonna have to do this manually because i think i'll show you right now here because it was not cultivated yeah it's not and i have the roll so if you have uh the roller function enabled on this planter i've got got a couple of videos on this actually but the roller um, feature um, will not work on a uncultivated ground. So even though, um, yeah, even though, oops, even though um, we're seeding, mulching and seeding, it, it still won't. So that's that's being looked at, but it's the um, that's why. The worker won't work if you have the roller function enabled on this planter. If you have the mulch, uh, the mulch doesn't mulch is fine because uh, you're supposed to be able to mulch on uncultivated. Otherwise, it's kind of useless. So, but anyways, because I'm doing all of those all together, I'll just have to do it manually, which is fine. Keeps me busy doing something, anyways. Um, and the field isn't humongous, so. Uh, um, if you want workers to do everything, you're going to have to get yourself a, uh, a roller, um, and hire, I mean, if, if you want workers to do everything is what I meant to say, uh, you're going to have to, uh, get a separate roller and, um, and have a worker roll it after you've mulched and planted with this and just turn off the roller function on this, so. But, um, yeah, other than that, um, let's go, um, which I, I am going. Uh, let's see, what does it say now? We should be perfect everywhere. Expected yield. Yeah, we are maxed out on expect. See that bottom right corner? Expected yield, uh, 89. Yield potential, 89. So we are getting the very most that we can over here 125 so we've mulched rolled uh, nitrogen pH everything you can do to max out yield um, and then of course if uh, weeds pop up you're gonna have to get rid of those weeds which we do have weeds turned on so we're potentially gonna see weeds because we did not um, we're direct drill seeding so uh that means uh weeds will come up so we're gonna have to uh, we're gonna get we're gonna sprayer we'll get a sprayer and uh spray the weeds when they pop up but that's uh that's for another video because we're still on day one here believe it or not uh things are rapidly going forward and because we had um sugar cane uh, a sugar cane field that was ready and this was the canola field that was ready to harvest when we bought it. It's all good. So that is the status up to now. I'm going to finish off. Uh, basically, what I'm going to be doing now is we're going to finish planting this and then we let it go. Wait till it first. Uh, wait till we see the first growth, which we're going to track the growth. Um, we're going to track the growth um, stages. Is what I wanted to say. Um, 
even if it's just like hey this is what it looks like and then carry on to the next day basically because um we not, we might not be doing anything between some of the days maybe maybe not but anyways um right uh, i'm gonna finish liming up the other fields that need it and see if we can get them uh uh, get the yield yield um, up a bit for those. Uh, I know we have a uh, soybean field that needs going to need lime. Pa it won't need it won't need um, fertilizer because soybean does not require fertilizer. At least when you're using precision farming, which we have, uh, well, maybe obvious to some of you, but that's what this all this is precision farming. So, of course, if you want to know more about precision farming. I do have several videos um, explaining and actually all of my let's plays use precision farming because I do love precision farming and I'm hoping it will get expanded because it really hasn't had an update since it got released now this precision farming is a giants mod in farm sim 19 it was a um, it was a mod by by one of the modders and it got picked up by giants but in my humble opinion um the version in farm sim 19 was better than the one we have as base game uh partially in my opinion uh because for as in it was better because um it included crop rotation in the first version, which I thought was really cool and it actually did matter uh, what crops you planted after another one. If you planted the same crop over and over again, it would actually hurt your yield. And uh, like like real crop rotation, which is, a, a, you know, a little bit more complicated than that. But generally speaking farmers rotate their crops to um because certain crops require certain kind of nutrients and take certain nutrients from the soil and etc uh, etc et or whatever there are a bunch of factors which i cannot ex i do not have the um I, I don't have extensive knowledge on all the intricacies of crop rotation but i know um that it is beneficial not to not to continuously plant the same crop over and over again in the same field there there yeah and sometimes you leave the leave the field bare for a year to just recover and um there used to be a lot more of that um in the past i'm not sure i think maybe because now we have soil testing and you can have all sorts of different things that you can um you know uh, fertilizers and minerals and stuff that you can apply to your field to make up for deficiencies that they didn't have you know in the past which what which is why the, the crop rotation thing was a little bit more used a bit more widely I'm, I'm not sure I'm not I'm not really involved in the farming real farming anymore so um, not that I really was in the past, but yeah, you get it. Anyways, uh, me yapping away here. We have actually pretty much um, finished off this field. Planting it anyways. Manually planting it. Yes, something I don't often do entirely by myself. And let's go here. And right, so there we go. Sorghum. Let's lift and tuck. And I, I, so if you have the mulching, I think, yeah, it's going to leave little strips like this because it mulches just before it plants. And if you, you yeah, so we're going to have a little spot here where it got mulched. And I think it's going to be uh, bare. But uh, that's the, uh, that's a trade off that, uh, that you get when you do all in one like this, but that's fine, I don't mind. Right, um, 
there you go that's it for this episode i hope you enjoyed it if you have any questions or comments please feel free to do so and uh we'll carry on um and we're gonna see yeah we're gonna see all the um new stuff to the update and um i haven't played on this map bef i mean yeah this is my first time on this map so interesting we will continue to uh, go on here um for yeah continue right thanks for watching and uh as always uh don't forget it's only a game so until the next one bye for now <laughs> <laughs>